An unexpected vote this week to end the sex offender housing program on Wilson Avenue raises the question, what now? Isabella Warren has reaction from neighbors and county commissioners. There's no clear path forward after the county's two-to-one decision Wednesday to terminate the sex offender housing program on Wilson Avenue. Neighbors to the triplex have fought months to remove the program and now are feeling relief. Yeah, honestly, we're shocked. Uh, we did not see this coming. We expected it to be another month until the commissioners reconvened. Getting that news was, I was floored. I was um, ecstatic and humbled at the same time. And I did ask the question, well, what's next? Right now, there are two people living at the triplex, but it's not yet decided where they or the 40 to 50 expected to go through the program will go now. I don't think that this reversal creates a substantial change from the status quo now, but the county has an opportunity to try it again to do it right yeah uh, there will be people who um, are released um, you know from a prisoner jail under supervision um, who are very likely to become homeless again and we will uh, you know our everyone will suffer from that we reached out to multiple sides of the decision Thursday and were told that Deschutes County's legal team had advised many to not discuss but County Commissioner Phil Chang, who voted no, shared his disapproval. It's really important for the public to understand the flaws in the decision process and that it's not appropriate to try to hide that in executive sessions. Commissioner Tony DeBone says the vote was open, but no one showed up. So we came out of that executive session to make this final decision or make a decision because it wasn't we weren't required to but it kind of came down to the concept of if we have this much opposition and we're not on the same page and this thing is not landing well why keep going last week we reported on the commissioner's initial decision to begin looking for alternative locations for the transitional housing commissioner debone said there are many options the county is looking into but a timeline has not yet been decided. It's the concept of trying to pick up a residential lot in a new neighborhood that hasn't built yet and saying this is gonna be future, uh, you know, uh, supervised uh, parolee uh, housing, you know, so really getting that in place. Now Commissioner Chang says the county has to pay the state back the $1 million grant for the program and the nonprofit running the program free on the outside. If I was in that position, I would say uh, the, the way that this went, I don't want to try again. But um, that's, that's a question mark. The county commissioners plan to continue to meet and discuss further direction with the program. And Lee, as I mentioned, there are still two people living in that mm -hmm. complex. Well, what are their options now? Well, uh, there is a short-term program for them. They can either, if they're making a revenue, stay in their own apartment, or the city will pay for them in a hotel for a short term. Mm, interesting. Okay, thank you, Isabella.